When you or I are in an environment like this, we immediately recognize the sounds. We know which ones to focus on and which ones to ignore. But how do I get a hearing aid to do this? It would be easy if I just wanted to talk to Peter and didn't care about the rest. The hearing aid would just shut everything else down. But that would confuse me because I can see things happening, but struggle to hear them. I want to be able to hear what's happening around me, like my friend shouting that my barbecue is ready, the guy playing the tuba on a unicycle, my daughter when she wants my attention, the bird in the sky, and everything else. It's a very complex task for a small hearing aid. Remember, sounds are constantly moving. After years of research, we have found that the best way to solve this problem is to train a hearing aid with millions of real-life sound samples. This way it can learn to recognize each type of sound and their relative importance. To do this, we use something called a deep neural network. It's a method based on the way your brain works, which learns not by simple rules, but through repeated experiences. And it looks something like this. A deep neural network consists of different layers with thousands of connections. Each layer feeds information in one direction from input to output. The neural network does not see the soundscape shown here. It only receives a complicated mixture of sounds. In the case of the sound scene, the first layer extracts simple sound elements and patterns from the input. Then, the next layer builds these elements together to recognize and make sense of what is happening. Finally, based on all of this, the output layer chooses how to balance the sound scene. This is then compared to how it should ideally sound. But here's the twist, and this is what's so groundbreaking about deep neural networks. At first, the neural network has no idea what it's listening to. It only hears a complicated mixture of sounds, so it just responds randomly. But every time it balances the sound scene the wrong way... Information flows back through the network, saying the balancing is wrong. So anything that was supporting that decision, its connection gets a bit weaker. And anything that was supporting a more ideal balancing, its connection strengthens. It does this over and over again until millions of sound scenes later. The neural network teaches itself to process any environments presented to it. Until now, hearing aids have been designed using simple man-made rules that categorize all sounds as either speech or noise. Based on how clear speech was in relation to noise, the hearing aid would then choose to either let all sounds in or shut all sounds out, except the one in front of it. We took a new perspective and broke out of the lab to collect sounds from real-life situations with a highly specialized 360-degree microphone. And after training our deep neural network with all these sound scenes, we built it into our new hearing aid, Oticon Mall. So when a person with hearing loss uses Oticon Moore enters this sound scene, the hearing aid scans it, then utilizes its deep neural network to recognize the sound scene and make sure the sounds are clear and precisely balanced, all while taking the user's hearing loss into account. With access to the full sound scene, it's much easier for people with hearing loss to hear more and to enjoy life's amazing complexity. That's the deep neural network in Oticon Moore.